Welcome to the audio-visual training program of RMTC Mumbai. First of all, I would like to thankful to those who have subscribed to our YouTube video channel. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube video channel till now, then please subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming new videos. Thank you. Different shapes of signs are used in various places. What is the shape of prohibition sign? Options are A. Triangular B. Circular C. Square D. Any of these. The correct answer is circular. Different shapes of signs are used in various places. What is the shape of mandatory sign? Options are A. Triangular B. Circular C. Square D. Any of these. The correct answer is circular. Different shapes of signs are used in various places. What is the shape of warning sign? Options are A. Triangular B. Circular C. Square D. Any of these. The correct answer is triangular. Different shapes of signs are used in various places. What is the shape of information sign? Options are A. Triangular B. Circular C. Square D. Any of these. The correct answer is square. Which sign is indicated by black symbol on white background in circular shape with red border and crossbar? Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is prohibition sign. Which sign is indicated by white symbol on blue background in circular shape? Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is mandatory sign. Which sign is indicated by black symbol on yellow background in triangular shape with black border? Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is warning sign. Which sign is indicated by white symbol on green background in square or oblong shape? Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is information sign. The sign of do not smoke is an example of underscore. Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is prohibition sign. The sign of wear eye protection is an example of underscore. Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign The correct answer is mandatory sign. The sign of toxic hazard is an example of underscore. Options are A. Prohibition sign B. Mandatory sign C. Warning sign D. Information sign. The correct answer is warning sign. The sign of dispensary is an example of underscore. Options are A. Prohibition sign. B. Mandatory sign. C. Warning sign. D. Information sign. The correct answer is information sign. Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while lifting and shifting any fragile and heavy equipment like personal computer and CNC machine respectively? Options are A. It is always best to have them dismantled as much as possible. B. All parts of equipment should be packed separately in bubble wrap to protect them from any damage. C. All parts of equipment should be separately lifted and individually shifted to avoid any damage or accident. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while lifting and shifting any fragile equipment like personal computer? Options are A. 
It is always best to separate all input and output devices from the main system unit of the computer. B. All parts and accessories should be packed separately in bubble wrap to protect them from any damage. C. Protective padding should be used in a box to avoid any damage during transit. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which warning information or sign or symbol is required to be printed on the packing box of any electrical or electronic equipment to avoid any damage during transit? Options are A. Fragile B. Handle with care C. This side up with the symbol of upward direction arrow D. All of these The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while lifting and shifting any heavy equipment like CNC machine? Options are A. It is always best to dismantle the machine as much as possible. B. Wooden box should be used for packing to avoid any damage during transit. C. Crane should be used to avoid any damage or accident. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. Concentrate your mind towards the work to avoid any accident. B. Never wear wet and loose clothes while working in the laboratory. C. Never stand on the wet earth from where the electrical lines are passing. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. Always check for the proper working of hand tools and safety devices. B. Do not use or handle any hand tool without proper knowledge. C. The proper required tool must be used for a particular type of job. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. Do not put any sharp-edged hand tool in your pocket to avoid any injury. B. Do not use or handle any hand tool without handle to avoid any injury. C. Always hand over hand tools to someone else from the handle side to avoid any injury. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. On-off switch must be used for connecting phase or lift wires. B. Safety fuse of proper current rating must be used to avoid any accident during any short circuit. C. Proper earthing is essential to ground the leakage current from the body of high power equipments. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. Turn off the main supply switch before replacing a blown fuse. B. Whenever a ladder is required to be used, it must be held by someone to avoid any accident. C. Never energize any conductor unless and until it is sure that no one is working on it. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working in the laboratory? Options are A. Do not remove plug pin of any electrical or electronic equipment by pulling its flexible wire. B. Do not operate any electrical or electronic equipment without proper knowledge. C. Before cleaning or servicing of any equipment, turn off the power supply switch to avoid any accident. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed to prevent any electric shock? Options are A. All metallic parts of the equipment other than current carrying conductor should be properly earthed. B. Never operate any electrical or electronic equipment without plug pin top of the mains cord. C. Never take any risk to work on any live naked wire. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. 
Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed to prevent any electric shock? Options are, A. Never use electric poles to tie any rope or wire for drying clothes. B. Never use any electrical or electronic equipment which has damaged leads of the mains cord. C. Always use properly insulated hand tools. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed in the case of electric fire? Options are, A. Turn off the main supply switch. B. Do not use water to control the fire. C. Use CO2 fire extinguisher or sand to control the fire. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following electrical safety precautions should be observed while working on the electronic circuit involving EHT voltage? Options are, A. Disconnect the power from EHT voltage circuit which is required to be checked. B. Discharge the high voltage filter capacitor of EHT voltage circuit before any test. C. It is always safe to use only one hand while touching any part of VHD voltage circuit. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Dear friends, if you like our video, then please click on the like icon, and also write your comments in the comment box. According to your valuable suggestion, we will try our best to provide you better video presentation. Thank you.